World War III, North Korea threatens Donald Trump with unimaginable strike after drills. KCNA made the announcement the US and South Korean warships are conducting military tests near the country's peninsula. The puppet news agency said, the US is running amok by introducing under our nose the targets we have set as primary ones. The US should expect that it would face unimaginable strike at an unimaginable time. The drills are part of a five-day joint effort between the US and South Korea that involved fighter jets, helicopters and naval ships with the gargantuan USS Ronald Reagan also reportedly making an appearance. North Korea has reportedly mistaken the exercises as plans for an imminent attack against the state. Kim Kwong Hak, a researcher at North Korea's foreign ministry, said, such military acts compel North Korea to take military counteraction. He almost saw told the Independent, we have already warned several times that we will take counteractions for self-defense, including a salvo of missiles into waters near the US territory of Guam. The drills will continue into next week where a wider range of management events are set to take place, according to the US military. Events will involve South Korean Americans being evacuated from the country in the event nuclear war breaks out. The latest threats come as desperate leader Kim Jong-un has promised that the highest level of measures will be taken against Washington in retaliation to Trump's threats to totally destroy the rogue state. The Hermit Kingdom recently declared that it will not engage in diplomatic negotiations with the US until it has a missile capable of reaching all the way to the east coast of the mainland US, according to a new report. The secretive state has recklessly brushed aside negotiations until the country can counter the US military might. A North Korean official said, before we can engage in diplomacy with the Trump administration, we want to send a clear message that the DPRK has a reliable defensive and offensive capability to counter any aggression from the United States. The careless disregarding of negotiations heightens global tensions shortly after the US, Japan and China have all taken measures to increase their stranglehold over the isolationist state. The US Under Secretary of State, John Sullivan, stated, We must, however, with our allies in Japan and South Korea and elsewhere, be prepared for the worst should diplomacy fail. The US Ambassador to South Korea, An Ho Young, added, The goal of the Trump administration's sanctions and pressure campaign is ultimately a peaceful solution to the North Korean problem. Whether it's Defense Secretary James Mattis or Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, they all say the same thing. China recently announced that it will cut off imports of coal, textiles, seafood and oil shipments to the north in an attempt to show the world is serious about crippling Kim Jong-un's expanding military program. The Asian superpower has sent mixed messages to an otherwise united world against the rogue state after the country was recently accused of fueling world tensions by weaponizing North Korea and aiding the Hermit Kingdom's missile program, according to a US expert. Gordon Chang accused Beijing of siding with Pyongyang by transferring very important military technologies. Mr Chang said, they are weaponizing the North. The expert also disclosed that the rogue state's recent intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, tests on July 4 and 28 were aided by China thanks to Chinese mobile launchers, 
that allowed the test to take place. He added, those mobile launchers make North Korea a real threat because their missiles can now hide 